Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. Let's show you this bad boy Paragon 500mm lens that I've got. So I thought I'd show you today the Paragon 500mm lens, fixed lens that I've got. Uh, it's quite old, I don't know how old they are, but you can pick these up for a song on eBay or online. I actually got this one from a mate of mine, his own storage units, and uh, someone didn't pay over the months, so like they normally do, they go in and see what they can sell to recover the cost of the rent. And he found this Paragon lens inside, and he said, Roger, do you want this? And I said, yeah, I'll have it. To be honest with you, I didn't think I'd ever use it. I just thought it was a, a lot of old crappy, crappy glass and a crappy lens but how wrong was I I first started using it in video mode on the DSLR and I realized how sharp the images were I don't know how I'm coming across now at the moment like I said I'm having to do the focusing over there and coming back but um, I realized how sharp it was on the DSLR uh, for video mode and then I started using it in photo mode as well on the DSLR just to do a few test shots and I've had this lens for quite about seven or so years and I've only used it a handful of times you know it is a tricky lens to use it's hard to focus it's very hard to use handheld and it's best used on a tripod not on a windy day um, because you do get loads of wobble obviously because of the focal length is so long but um other than that it's not that bad for color photography you do get a little bit of fringing around the edges i've noticed but black and white it's okay so i'm going to uh, it's, it's an f, f mount lens so i'm going to put it onto my nikon f90x put the GoPro on top of that as well and mill around and take a few photographs on film and see what we can uh, see what we can come up with I'll show you the pictures afterwards So that was a few film snaps that I did on Foma 400 uh, developed in Rodnoll. Let's do some digital stuff. So let's now take some photographs of various apertures starting at f32 all the way to its widest at f8. So that was just going through the apertures on this lens and you know I found the sweet spot to be around about f11 that's what I shot all of the film uh, photographs on uh, it's not bad I mean there's no I don't think there's any coating on the lens maybe there is I can't see if there if there's <laughs> I don't know, they're quite a low contrast lens I find and like I said earlier on if you shoot in colour um, with digital anyway I notice that you do get this fringing going on um, but with black and white you don't hardly notice it but uh, it's not being on there really it's just a cheap cheerful lens a little bit of fun nothing serious and uh, you can get some decent results with it so this is the Paragon 500mm lens I've also got a few others that I've picked up along the way uh, this one's M42 uh, attachment on there and this one is a Optimax Auto um, again I don't know if these are coated these lenses or not I've hardly ever tried this one but this one's a 300 mil lens fixed at 300 and that's f 5.5 to f22 that one there and this one is a K mount lens so this works well with my chin and also I think the Pentax 
um, uh, K1000, I think it is. Uh, this is a Sanagor lens, auto. You know, all these words mean nothing to me. They're just lenses. This one's an 80 to 305. It's a push pull lens. I've played with this one a little bit. It's not too bad. Um, this one's got a slight coating. You can see it on the lens itself. But that's a Sunagar lens. Never heard of that one before until I've come across it. And this one is another one as well for a K mount on the end there. And, and this is a 400, I think. Let's have a look at this one. This is, yeah, a 400 millimeter lens. This is called, I don't know, DDA Optics. Uh, that one looks to be coated as well. Um, I haven't really tried that one out. So them two both K-mounts, that's M42, and that one's uh, for my um, Nikon, Nikon F-Fit. But, you know, they're just fun lenses, nothing serious, So you know, and, and they're pretty cheap as well to buy, and maybe you can just find a few in a thrift shop or what have you. But um, here goes the old van rental. What a time to go by as I'm talking. How rude. <laughs> But yeah, you can just pick these up for a song, like I said, on eBay. Have a little look. I'll put a link in the description anyway of the video if anyone's interested in these sort of lenses. I hardly use them, but now and again, I'll get them out and have a little play. And, uh, you know, sometimes you can get some surprising results. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I've just hit 20,000 subscribers, so thanks a lot to everyone that's subscribed to my channel, watches the videos, comments, likes, dislikes, and all that stuff. It gives me interaction. And also special thanks to the guys that support the channel on Patreon, buy me a coffee, and also the YouTube members area. I really do appreciate your support. I'll catch you next time.